Hello, I'm Alex Follett. And I'm Terry Lawson. And this is episode 22 of 51 and a half tips for a beginner property investor. So today we are at our first project that uh, we bought six months ago. The first tenant moved in uh, two months ago. And um, we're here because we want to make sure after the project has finished and now this property is uh, almost fully tenanted, so it are out of the six rooms in the HMO, five rooms are full. Um, we want to make sure that our investment will have a longer lifespan, um, so that you know we want to make sure that tenants are looking after the property, and we look after the property. Uh, we're not so happy with the agent at the moment, but you know we just want to make sure that. Um, we address any problems before they arise. So that's why we're here today. Yeah. So um, what happened with the builder is that um, they have started doing snagging. Uh, we have transferred uh, sort of an amount that we own them, but we still held a couple of thousand pounds uh, for the penalties because they were late and another thousand pounds for um, you know, the rest of the snagging that they were supposed to do. And the builder is currently very busy on another project, converting to a, a grade two listed building. So he's so busy, he's not even answering our calls. We had, for example, a boiler leak and he couldn't get a plumber out to have a look at it. Um, and uh, it happened just, uh, you know, after the refurbishment has finished. And uh, yeah, we just what we have to do is we have to employ people to actually do the snagging for that builder who has disappeared. Um, <clears throat> uh, I think what also happened, uh, you know, while we're recording these videos, uh, we're also being contacted by local people. So we invest in uh, Wallasey, in uh, Wirral. So our second project is in Wallasey. This property is in Birkenhead. And we're being contacted by local people who are just, you know, happy to give advice. And we have found a uh, we have found a local investor who is just, you know, helping us. And she brought her plumber in, and you know, they looked at the leak, and uh, uh, we think that they fixed it. Actually, they, you know, we're still checking, but they were so helpful and just, you know, giving us advice how to make sure that our property lasts longer. So, for example, we're now in the kitchen here, uh, and for the kitchen, they advise that uh, we need to put a fan here to make sure that um, you know the level of sort of damp uh, condensation, condensation uh, is lowered. Um, they have also advised, for example, there is the door going to the outside, and there was water spilling over when it was raining, and what they did, they drill three little holes so that the water under the door goes outside rather than spilling inside the kitchen and now you know these are like golden nuggets that you don't really know unless you have experience and for example we are realizing that our agent is not telling us these things and um, so we're realizing that our current agent is more reactive than proactive so when we tell them oh what's happening with this they say, oh yeah, we'll get you a contractor, and then they get a quote for 500 pounds, and then they think that it's okay, you know? So when we were told, I think, before we started the project that, you know, if you come from outside the area, you're going to be ripped off. I think now we're seeing that people are trying it on us, and we just need to, you know, meet more local people and just make sure we are, you know, we understand how this business works. And I think, actually, us recording these videos, helps us in really meeting local people. So what would you say, Terry? Yeah, um, I think for us, because we're um, long distance investors, because our portfolio is in um, Wirral and we're based down in London, it doesn't really help. You, you need to have a, a really good power team who you can depend on, um, who you can trust and rely on, and who won't try to rip you off, basically, um, which is what we're finding. Um, yeah, just just need to really get your power team sorted when you're yeah. thinking about doing these long-term 
investment. Yeah, and you need to come up and really go into the properties and see what's happening. And, uh, you know, just basically make sure that you get, uh, you sort out the problems before they even arise. And it's very important because, you know, we're hearing about stories how, you know, a nicely renovated house goes to, you know, really poor condition in three years and then a remote investor, you know, just sells it. And, uh, yeah, we don't want to be there. So we want to look after our property as well. And, uh, yeah, so we're learning and it's a learning curve. Uh, and I think it's not as easy as maybe we were led to believe at the beginning, but it's working. The house is generating income. Five rooms are tenanted and uh, hopefully the sixth room will be tenanted soon. But I think we, uh, it was a good thing that we, on, we had sort of tenants coming in gradually that not like that six tenants started to use the house and all the you know services straight away i think it was good that it was staggered and i think we're now ready to get the sixth tenant and um we'll get the sixth tenant imminently won't we yeah. okay thank you for watching and good luck